this is part two where we're going to build the rest of the system adding the controller first we're going to go into new controller and add new controller dx200 next we're going to go into regular maintenance mode since we're adding a positioner we can't go into the short mode let that boot up now we're going to initialize initialize and we're going to change the lines to both English we can go to detail on the robot and in my case I'm going to the MA and I'm going to MA 2010 for robot 1 MA 2010 for robot number 2 now I'm going to add the station station 1 is the main sweep will be turn 1 station 2 will also be turn 1 and station 3 will be a turn 1. Next we'll go into the details of stations and the robot and this is the brake and motor setup. Usually it is left as default and I will be going off of a setup sheet as you can see here. But the setup sheet cannot stay on this screen. I have to move it over to the secondary screen. And anytime you're building a standard arc world setup, I can get the setup sheet to you so that you can get it set up properly. Next, we'll go on to the uh, next screen and set up S1 as rotation, S2 is rotation and S3 will be rotation. Next we will change and set up the positive and negative rotation distance and then numerator and denominator for the gear ratios. And we will do that for each station. S1 will have a different gear ratio than S2 and S3 as S2 and S3 are the minor axes which are side A and side B. Now we set up the motor types and I am looking at the list that is on the other screen. Amplifier types and converter type. Next is the rotation direction, it is normal. And maximum RPMs and acceleration and deceleration for each axis. The same will be repeated for each station. This is really only necessary for offline programming. If you're just setting up a cell to do a reach study and to check tooling clearances and etc., this is not critical. But if you are looking at cycle time or offline programming of creating jobs, then this is critical. Next, 
we're setting up the application and in this case the 6200 two robots it will be arc plus arc and then the rest of the settings will be default as we walk our way through on the controller modify yes move this window out of the way and we'll click on next next and finish and it will add the robots say OK for adding all the stations and the robots. Now the next on part three I will show you how to place and get everything set up.